Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's look at what we call the equilibrium temperature of an object that's being radiated from one direction. Of course, this is very applicable to planets and moons and things like that in space. But let's say we had an object hanging inside an enclosure where the surface of the enclosure is kept at zero Kelvin. Of course, that's a very hypothetical situation. Again, think about being out in space where the temperature of space is at close to uh, near zero. And let's say that the radius of the object is 0.2 meters and the emissivity is equal to 1, and it's being radiated from one direction only at an intensity of 1,000 watts per square meter. Now, as the object receives the heat, it's going to heat up. As it heats up, it's going to radiate more and more energy. And at some point, the amount of energy that it receives on the one side of the object is going to equal the radiation it sends out in all directions of space. So at that point, we can say at that equilibrium temperature, the dQ dt coming in from the radiation must equal the dQ dt being radiated outward. And so what we're trying to do is find that equilibrium temperature. So what is the T sub e equal to question mark? That's what we're ultimately trying to figure out. So what we're going to do is come up with the two equations. The amount of heat coming in is the power received from the radiation and so that would be the power in equals the radiation out, and that would be the Stefan-Boltzmann equation, so that's equal to E sigma A times T to the fourth power, and of course that's the equilibrium temperature that we're looking for. And the power in, well that can be expressed in terms of the intensity times the surface area. Now we know that the half of the sphere is being illuminated by the radiation, but of course at the equator we have much more of an effective radiation than near the poles, so we have to come up with the effective area. So it's going to be the intensity times the what we would call the effective area A sub E is equal to E sigma A T sub E to the fourth power. Now it's a different E, this is the effective area, this is the uh, what we call the equilibrium temperature. All right, so let's go ahead and write that down. So I times the effective area. Now the effective area would be the cross section of the sphere that would be pi r squared. So it would be pi times r squared. That's the effective area, not the 2 pi r we would expect of the complete surface of half a sphere. And so that would be equal to E times sigma times the area of the entire sphere, that would be 4 pi r squared, because it's going to be radiated in all directions. And we assume that this source here, this source right here, is just a very small region of the entire enclosure, so we can ignore that. So we can simply say 4 pi r squared times the temperature equilibrium. And of course, that's what we're looking for. First of all, the pi's cancel, the r squares cancel, and we're going to isolate the temperature, so temperature to the uh, equilibrium to the fourth power is equal to the intensity divided by E sigma times 4. And of course, then we have to take the fourth root of that, so the equilibrium temperature is equal to the fourth root of the intensity divided by E sigma times 4. All right, so let's, oh, let me plug in the numbers and see what they are. So it would be the fourth root of the intensity, which is 1,000 watts divided by 1. This would be 5.67 times 10 to the minus 8. And times 4, like this. We'll extend that. All right, now we can grab the calculator and see what we're going to end up with. So 1,000 divided by 5.67 e to the 8 minus, divided by 4 equals. Now we take the square root and we take the square root again, and we get a temperature of, equilibrium temperature of about 257.7 Kelvin. Quite cold, but that is because the object is suspended in a region where it's zero Kelvin, and it's receiving 1,000 watts per square meter from one direction only. And so with perfect emissivity, emissivity equal to 1, the temperature would equal about 258 Kelvin. And that's how we come up with equilibrium temperatures, calculating the amount of energy they receive versus the amount of energy they will radiate out. And at some point, the two rates will be equal, and then we'll calculate the equilibrium temperature, just like we did here. And that's how it's done.